Welcome back, Dagos. Oh, We're back, baby. From the get go. Well, you have to. Wow, you acknowledge that. You doubled down. In, he, Alex came in five minutes ago to the podcast. You're like, I oh, don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay if we said Dago last week, man. I'm really unsure. We said it last week, and I think if we make it a term of endearment, it can be a term of then, endearment. It doesn't need to be. Back. Yeah, it doesn't need to be a bad thing. If you're an, a listener and you're Italian, you're a friend of the pod. Friend of the pod. We love the Italian. Actually, if people. you're just Italian and you don't even know us, friend of the pod. Good country. A good country. How 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 are they historically? How, what's their uh, reputation? Really bad at war, but they're cool. They're good at organized crime. They're not good at organized warfare. They, they, they're bad. They're really good at crime. They can battle. Cool. They can battle up to like when it's up to twenty people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A little gun battle in the street. They're huge. I yeah. mean, the mafia in Sicily. They're legendary. They they still control most of Sicily. They're they're so bloodthirsty, but it's only between families. They, and, and they kill a lot of lawyers. That's cool too. Italian on <laughs> Italians Ita- love killing lawyers. It's Italian on Italian crime. Why how come a they can't kill it. anyone else? Yeah, yeah. But the mafia in New York, they kill non-Italian people. They got like the Greek mafia, the Jewish mafia and all that here. Oh. They got an Albanian mafia. There's a Jewish mafia here? There used to be. I don't know if it's still going, but they used to be hardcore. Yeah. There's a Greek mafia? Yeah, there's every every white has a mafia. The mm. French don't. They're too pussy. Oh, <laughs> they really? could never have a mafia. <laughs> the Albanians are like the toughest people here. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what Soder was telling me. He said that Albania, you go to the Bronx and like... He has a, he tells this story on one of his specials, but he's like these guys are gonna beat him up late at night in the Bronx, and he pretends he's Russian, and they just like leave him alone. But they thought he was Albanian because they're like we fear the Albanians more than anyone. <laughs> yeah, holy so shit! So they left him alone. Yeah, wow, it's pretty crazy. Pretty cool name drop. It's pretty. Fun. Oh my god! <laughs> the kid. Oh, Jesus. Uh, he's probably a friend of the pod. He is. So I think Soder's a friend of the pod. Great yeah. guy. One of the greatest people in comedy. Yeah, he's fucking new. He's one of the best. He's one, one of the, the best, best ever. Wow, my man. I'm uh. <laughs> here's what I'm. I'm kind of <laughs> my you're, man. You're kind of in my head now about the what? the 50 states thing. Oh, I thought there was 50. I thought there was. 50, yeah, I legitimately let, thought that Puerto Rico had been made a state. I, I just don't, wanna, don't understand I don't, how you would. What news that would even be in? Didn't some people ever say it in passing to you? Like, oh, yeah, isn't Puerto Rico a state? What, what conversations are you having? I was on the bus a lot. You never talk about politics or geography and suddenly everyone's like you hear about puerto rico man i just feel like in history class sometimes they're like oh yeah and puerto rico is kind of a state puerto rico is like part of a kind of a state how is the only thing you remember from history class wrong you didn't need oh you don't need a passport to go to puerto rico no it's a territory it's not a okay it's part of america they are american citizens i don't want to we don't have to pick up from there but i just want to clarify if we do post that clip i will i was i wasn't that wrong you you were completely wrong. I thought There's there was no way you're you're not even remotely right. That's like if you call an apple an orange and you're like, well, they're both fruit. There's I, a, there's I thought re- Puerto Rico was a state. Yeah, and that's wrong. It's not kind of. It wrong. does feel it's wrong, wrong when I say it out loud. Now. Yeah, it's it's like if you said Canada was a state. Anyway, not... we're back, folks. Oh my god, the pod is back. What did you do this weekend, Alex? What did I do? I went to Philly. You How was been? it? You probably uh, play basketball there. Played against Nova. Oh, Villanova's in Philly too. I yeah, I had a cheesesteak when we played them the night before, and uh, they're not that good, bro. Sorry, Fong. <laughs> cheesesteak. It's just like a deep dish in Chicago. The most famous food's always kind of overrated. Actually, deep dish is amazing. Deep if you dish right. is good. Like Luminati. I bet. I bet there's a couple places, Fonz, where like you, can, if you get a good cheesesteak people will be like that's fucking awesome yeah there's definitely a few places where you get a proper cheesesteak uh, they're just like tourist sloppy places yeah the one i had wasn't amazing there's some deep dish places in chicago that really give us a bad name oh yeah they ruin it i went to this place in philly <laughs> we can't really i can't really say it on the pod but uh it used to be named after a racial slur do you know what i'm talking about Fonz? The place we were talking about? Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, no. we were talking. I think it's called Joe's or Jim's now. I can't remember. Ah, it used oh, to be God. named a word that I am not willing to say on the pod. Okay. As that was the name until like 2012, because it was this Irish guy's nickname in the 20s. Oh boy. Yeah. It was, it's a very. I don't want. Yeah, we can't really. I can't say the name, but it's very bizarre that it lasted so long. How are the crowds in Philly? 
<laughs> Actually, I've never done well in Philly. I don't know why. I think they like a tougher man. I think I'm a little too femmy for them. A little... I, I find I, I find I feel like it's like a normal. I feel like they're normal East Coast people. I I've only I I just haven't done well there recently. They can sniff your puss. Yeah, they I, they don't like the fake alpha thing. They're like, yeah, we'll kill you. Yeah, yeah they, yeah, they can we, sense we that you're kind of a you bitch. Up. Yeah, a little bit. They okay. only like pussy shit. They love sex jokes. Mm. And we went to Wawa at night. Wawa rips. It's just a bodega for Irish Catholics, really. <laughs> it's like a nice bodega. It's a nice bodega. It's for people who don't want dirt and cats and rats in their bodega, which I would call pussies. It is. I like the grime of a bodega. It's really efficient, Wawa. That's what I appreciate. Yeah, yeah. It's it's but a little also, too clean and corporate. Also, the bodegas around in New York, are, those guys are pretty fucking fast, man. Yeah, they, but they, they want all, you out of there. But they're also like, like we said, they make up prices, and it's kind of there's no standardized. There is stuff. an industry standard for Wawa, which we can appreciate. They, I know the sandwich is seven fifty. It's not what he think. It's what shirt I'm wearing today. Really if I does. wear this soy boy shirt into a bodega, they're charging me fifteen dollars for a sandwich. It, it does. I get. I've gotten a chicken Caesar wrap there uh, at the, my my local bodega because they make it really well. I've gotten it probably five times, and it's and it's. It's oscillated between nine and ten dollars <laughs> every single time. Every single time, they have no idea what price it is. He doesn't They're, care. They he's don't just, even care. I, he does. He, it just depends on how he feels, really. Yeah, or who's yeah, because it's, it's always the same guy, and you're like, how are you still working? How did the, it's the same guy? How, do you work ninety seven hours a week? They they can really go. I mean, they They've never got, stop. But they don't drink coffee. They're just like existing. Yeah, they're like immortal beings, and if they left the bodega, they would die. <laughs> They yeah. just like melt onto the street, but in the bodega, they're yeah. immortal. Do you feel like you're, uh, you've kind of ingrained yourself better in New York? You were ready for New York more now this time since you lived oh, here. Oh, okay, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you had more time to. It got more connections. I, I think open for a few people that helped me out. Yeah, so, I just think I've found myself like being pulled in a bunch of different. I'm still trying to figure out like, you gotta, my daily. Oh routine yeah, you, you, you got it. That's the toughest part about New York is there's so many things to do at night. You like end up choosing nothing. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. you like don't know where to cut. You just got to pick like two or three spots and hang I know. out. I can't. Just let me take you under my wing, kid. Absolutely <laughs> just let not. Me, just Absolutely let me show not. you around town, baby. Well, I just it's I got like I got like my college friends who like want to do this, and then you have friends right. like, visiting all the time. And yeah, you got to kind of. All I want to do is I want to like finish work, go do two spots, come home, watch basketball, and go to bed. That's and like, that you is, can do that pretty just, easily. It's just, but like, dude, it just seems you got to like, say no I, to the the f people visiting and the. Or dude, we've had like like Mike came through, my buddy Dan from. So I had a buddy from Ireland in town, a buddy from, um, uh london in town uh-huh and then i had i also my first my second week here i went to cincy for a week right right and then it's like and then also i don't know i've had some like family shit go down i can I'll tell you about that later oh, but like okay. it's like oh. i feel like and then and then my friends are just like uh like i've got like college friends and some high school friends who are like fine people are like finding out that i'm here or whatever yeah and, yeah. They're, and they're like oh shit didn't your know you lived yeah your here first now. month is like dude you're like oh dude like fucking you just moved here. Let's do this. And it's just like, man, yeah. I just want to. Yeah, you got. See, I want my routine, man. See, this is a lot of stuff you could talk to a therapist about. This is a very therapy related thing. What like, about you? Gotta you? Know what how about to make, you? <laughs> you should make boundaries with people. You got to tell them, hey, I'm here to do comedy. I can't yeah. can't hang out. You'll regret it forever if you move here and don't do comedy. I, I, this, I, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, no, but you're doing no, comedy, no, but no, you, but it's like no, but it's like I. But you don't want to. It's hard to say no, but you got you're to. spreading. I'm spreading myself very thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll find myself just like at sometimes at two a.m. in between a, like a very like energized and, and extremely tired like moment where I'm just like I don't. It's very odd, dude. I'm just like. Yeah, I just kind of like I, I like want to combust. You're not <laughs> used to New York. It's 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 tiring. It's, I, it's, I, it's a constant sensation. I think that's the, what it is. I I don't know what exactly. I I I wonder if it's just this like. Yeah, there's there. I have to figure. Yeah, I do have to figure out to be. Like, I kind of hey, love no. you going through an existential crisis a little bit. This is good to see a little introspection from you. No, I having feel, a little anxiety. It's good. It's I, not bad. We all have these. 
I'm not, okay. I'm still I'm still on the fence about Puerto Rico being a state, but <laughs> I, but like uh, but like how I feel as a human being is I'm it's very. Uh, I had a breakdown over the weekend. I'll I'll Alex got open. I'll be open. I I had I had to follow a very famous comedian. I won't say the name, but they did very well, and I just bombed after them, and I I felt like I. I should quit comedy. I was oh, like, this was, is it. It was it on a guest spot on your show? It was on the cellar. Someone dropped in and I had to follow them and I just like lost all confidence in my jokes. And I was like, this is, this ain't the path, man. Holy <laughs> shit. Should have gone to school, but now I'm good again. And I'm the greatest comedian to ever live. And everyone knows it. Every king falls down. I have I seen you bomb a few times recently. Yeah, I bomb. Really... Everyone bombs, of course. Yeah. If you don't bomb, it's because you're not trying new stuff and evolving. You got to evolve. You got to do something new. You can't do the same shit over and over mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Don't <laughs> I know it? But man, but seeing you <laughs> bomb is a real fun one. Yeah, because I, I, I bomb a lot harder than other people bomb. Is what I'll say. You don't try to. No get, one bombs harder than me. You don't try to get out of it either. No, really. when I see the ship sinking, I start like just tearing, uh, throwing the oars overboard and throwing the lifeboats <laughs> overboard. I just detonate the whole thing. It's not it's a grace. Fun. It's not a graceful. It, death. But the people who enjoy it never forget it. A great bomb is something that. Well, that's because is... you're ugly. <laughs> I'm not ugly. It's because you're I'm hard not... to look at. Oh like, my like, god! I can't believe I looked at that for 45 minutes. Here's the thing about me: I'm cute. I'm not hot. I made I made peace with that. I'm never gonna be sexy or hot. I'm cute, and that's enough for me. You're cute in the way that like Make a Wish kids are cute. They get a lot of press. <laughs> I bet Make a Wish kids have more views than we ever will. <laughs> yeah. Some of those true. that Batman kid, I bet he went viral more than we ever will in our lives. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, I think he died at 15, but his, he he was a real star for a his bit. His family gets like an email from Instagram, like, "Yo, you, you, your <laughs> we monetize the videos." <laughs> yeah, your views got uh, 15 million views. Here's twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, hope, yeah. hope your son get, feels better. Your reach is up three hundred and thirty five percent in the last week. Yeah, you've upgraded to a business. Make account. sure to post more content to keep the fans <laughs> yeah, interested. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Oh, good riff, folks. A little bit of darkness. We it's are, good to let it out. We are absolutely bad. You know, let me try. Let me try a little. I was thinking about this. Uh, me, Aaron, talk. Me and Aaron talked about this briefly. Do you think getting a hand job at a massage is cheating? Oh, does Aaron have a have a point of view on this? She didn't really say yes or no. I say no. I think it's not cheating. I've never done it, but I would like to one day. Um You wouldn't It's I don't it I don't think it's cheating. It's not cheating as long as you tell them about it. You can't just be like, oh, by the way, I've been going to a Thai massage parlor well, every Good week thing for there's a no year. finger job places. <laughs> what? Can that happen? Finger job? What do you mean? Like up the asshole? No, like there's, there's no places where girls can get fingered. Oh, I mean, I think if women get massages too, why can't they get a happy ending? Yeah, but like I don't think it happens, but I'm sure they could ask for it. I've never heard of a of a girl going to a massage parlor to get no, I fingered. haven't heard that either. Or but eaten out. I think it'd be t well. I think that's just too much work. The hand job—they're done in two minutes. They're, right? Yeah. You, they, you just got know. I've heard from pun. people doing this like it's an old Chinese lady, and she knows exactly what she's doing. She's she knows, old. That's what I've heard. They're often fifty, sixty years old, and you don't care. They're so good at it that you'll just like immediately. See, I don't. They know exactly what they're doing. I don't think I it, want an old Chinese. You lady. close your eyes and you imagine Meryl Streep, <laughs> an old white lady. <laughs> um, that's what I. Well, do. Wait, let me ask this. I think that if your girl was gonna allow you to get uh, happy endings, she would probably want something. In her. She'll probably be like, "Can I make out with Kathy?" Like when we're on the dance. For oh well that's a automatic yes you can i think yeah the, aaron's bisexual she uh she can do whatever she wants with women i don't care um i could not care less could she have so she have full-on sex with another girl you'd be uh as long as we talked about beforehand i think yeah 
God, she's gonna God, listen. To you this. are. She's gonna listen to this and be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> okay, yeah. Cause I, I wonder. I, 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 I wonder that. what the retort is there for the girl being like, "Okay, well, if you can get hand jobs." From- yeah. Well, maybe they can get yeah finger jobs or yeah hook up with their friend or whatever. Get up. <laughs> you can have a finger job. You That's can- <laughs> the next move for feminism. Women can take advantage of massage let's open let's too. open up a massage but if we ever make any money on this pod we're we'll opening up a massage, a massage parlor. parlor for women finally you guys i'm the finger king get, too you guys can finally get fingered down no we're, we're not doing the finger oh, we're hiring oh, pros okay well i guess i okay. we're just we're just the gms okay but i'll teach them my moves uh, I know I can I know how to finger. That's all I know how to do. Yeah. Everyone knows. When you're when you shower, when you wash those Yeah, things. yeah. No, I, I trim them. I trim them. Okay. That's all I have. Okay. Is that was that is that uh, the the other talking point? That was what I wanted to talk about. I thought you would be a little I, I actually thought you would be very against it, so I'm a little surprised that you <sighs> I had were, a I thought you were gonna argue with me on that and we agreed and it stunk. I, I can't lie to you. I, I do it. think I do think uh I have do, you I, done I, it? I can't do an open relationship. Uh I don't know if I could either, but the I think that's a good way of letting a little steam out. Yeah, you go to but, the but you have to figure, once but you or got, twice a year. Yeah, but you got to figure out what her thing is. Yeah, yeah, the fingering. I'll I'll say you pick a guy on the in the neighborhood and you can finger you once when you're just on a table. Yeah, he can put you, yeah. can put you on the kitchen table. Yeah, you table. can go over to his house. You get two hours. Do what you want. Yeah, and then I get three. I or can't four imagine tugs. a girl would want that. No, it doesn't just seem to be too cold s- fingered by some random dude. Probably not great. But if they did a massage, you you're into it then. It's got to be a good massage. I mean, yeah, of course it's going to be good. My, I can't remember who told me this, but they were like, they were getting a massage and the lady went for the move. Like they lightly like brush against your penis. And he was like, no, I don't want that. And the lady went, thank God. <laughs> Is it one Ooh. of the darkest things you've ever heard? That makes me not want to do it. How much quite extra a, does it cost? I think it's like double. I think they're usually 50 and then it's maybe a hundred with the tugger. That ain't too yeah. bad. That ain't too bad. A hundred dollars for an hour. You get forty five minutes of massage, and then you just blow a geyser at the end. Come I mean, on. That is a that is a, a good dec- deal. That's a decent dinner. That's like you could go bucks. on a first date and spend a hundred dollars, or you could just know you're gonna come at the end and get a massage. Yeah. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, Me and you, sh- let's do it. Pod happy endings together who comes first <laughs> who comes first that the, actually a would race be to the finish line we'll, oh, we'll have I, timers going oh you could not compete with the king <laughs> you would have no chance they'd have to invent a new unit of time <laughs> nanoseconds are not short enough beautiful oh dude i also wanted to say this uh-huh. i i uh, had a uh, i had a last last minute uh morton gave me a spot at new york comedy club oh last weekend dude so you crossed. I had one of my actually yeah I had a had a gazette but uh-huh. I uh dude I fucking I so he tells me in the message like you're going on uh, up after Gilbert after Adam Gilbert oh friend of the pod and we he's like he's like Adam you're Adam. going up after roast battle I'm like closing the show oh that's battle. never fun so I was like okay this is probably gonna be a tough spot but yeah. I was like oh Maddie and Gilbert and are right before me so I was like they might hit, Maddie uh, Weiner yeah, Maddie Smith what Weiner Maddie Weiner so I was like oh maybe. I'll um uh, I was like they'll they'll they might like eat some bullets like after that then I'll just go up last and uh, pop, pop. I'll, I was like I'll, I'll probably or probably they be fine. kill too hard and the crowd's done and the crowd's done. yeah that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's very what possible I'm too of, yeah so but so I'm on the train it's uh my spot is supposed to be 11:40 right oh and boy I'm seeing Adam Gilbert puts on his story he goes I'm about to follow Maddie Weiner this is at 10:40 oh okay he goes I'm about to follow Maddie Weiner you wrote it down wrong didn't you I was like dude. If I wrote this, so I still look at Brian's message. I'm like, it's 11:40. You're I have an hour until now. my time. Because uh, because now I'm on the train in my head. I'm on the train. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm like 11:40. You're really getting in character. I like that. Okay. And I'm like, holy shit, Brian fucked up the time. Oh, he had 10:40. He meant 10:40. Yeah, because the roast bell starts at 10:30. Yeah. I get off the train, dude. I, I I text Gilby. I go, I go. Uh, are you about to go up? He goes, I'm going on in in a minute. I go, can you tell someone, like, I'm going, like, I'm probably going, I, 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 I go, I think I'm supposed to go up after you. Can you tell somebody to, like, hold off or can you stretch or whatever? And he, I mean, he didn't even see the message. I mean, oh, just no. And then they're, they're I they- got off, dude. So this happened. So I get off, I get off the train. I, from the 23rd, uh, the 23rd stop, yeah. I run. 
Wow. Like I full on sprint. I, I, I go, I, I like run past somebody and they literally audibly said, well, that's not good. <laughs> 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 that I ran past somebody. So I'm literally- Even in New York to stand out for being in a hurry. Well, I'm fucking 6'6", six, six, dude. Yeah, like, it's the, true. I'm gunning it. You like, look like I'm, you just robbed a bank yeah, or stole a woman's yeah. purse. This guy goes, well, that's not good. <laughs> so I fucking gun it into New York Comedy Club. I run in and of course there's like, like I'm new here. So there's like five comics. I don't know. There's a manager. I don't know. The bartenders, they all look at me like, they're I'm like crazy. who the fuck are you? I just oh walked my in. God. Are you dripping in sweat? Just, oh, already sweating. It was a, it was probably a eight minute like sprint. Yeah. Yeah. Come in. Stewart's like, Oh, what's up, man? Like Stuart Fullerton. Yeah. I know. Stuart. She was, Hey, what's up? And I was like, oh, what? <laughs> am I going up? What's going on? Like, who's on stage? She goes, oh, Adam Gilbert's on stage. I go, I think I'm going after him. I think Brian gave me the time wrong. <laughs> oh, and she just geez. turns and points. She goes, uh, she, like, she just points to it. She goes, no, look, you're closing after roast battle. Oh, Adam my. and Maddie are going up first. And I How go, did what? you mess I'm that up? I'm closing roast battle. And she goes, yeah, that's like the shittiest spot. Like, yeah, that's going to be so bad. <laughs> it I is was, the shittiest and spot. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> that's like the worst spot because they've all been calling each other pedophiles yeah. for an hour and a half. And then you go up and try to so do it. It's I'm, terrible. So I'm already like, I'm literally sweating like I'm in the middle of a game. And you don't run very much anymore. Not You're anymore. Kind of, did you get the runner's knee? Did the runner's knee act so up? The runner's knee came back the, the, night, the next morning. The myocarditis was getting you. My lung, my lungs are burning. Oh I am sweating. God. Emil, Emil was there. He was like, "Yo, you posted that you were gonna be here." Emil Joaquin, friend of the pod. He friend was of like, the pod. He was like, "Oh, I, I you posted you're gonna be here. I want to come catch your set, man. Want to catch up with you? I haven't I haven't seen you yet." I was like, "What's up, man? Let's go outside." So I'm just on my knees, just like panting like the whole time. Jesus Christ! Just like what? You the actually fuck? went down on your knees outside? No, no, just oh. like ha hands on my okay. knees. Okay, <laughs> if you were like praying to God, because like you I just don't want to miss these spots. You yeah, know? I know. I well, I mean, you ran. How far did you run from the twenty third street? It was probably point seven miles. Yeah. Well, I hate to outdo you, but I ran from the West Fourth Street to twenty. Oh wait, did you go to the Fourth Street one or the twenty third street? Twenty third. Yeah, I ran three times as long to get to a spot. You ran from. I fourth? ran from Fourth Street because the buses weren't coming and the train wasn't coming. It was terrible, and then I bombed my ass off at the show was it like on a wednesday it was the before the roast battle spot i was where adam gilbert was on the show yeah and i did terrible i think so but i'm a better runner than you so that's probably equal so <laughs> that's about the only athletic thing i have on so you. i'm in i'm just like kind of now i'm kind of pissed because i'm just like now you have to it, wait. You have so, to yeah, watch so, roast so, battle so to, now and, and then stewart's like it's gonna be like two hours like she's <laughs> like roast battles are really long so um I'm just like so bummed, and like the whole time, like you know. So I'm talking with Maddie Wiener's off stage now, Gilbert's off stage, me and Emil are off stage, or Emil's off stage, or whatever. And like we're all we're all just like hanging out, and then Morton comes out, and I'm like slipping it that I'm like, oh, like God, like, this is this is gonna suck, right? I'm gonna bomb. He's like, ah, oh, dude, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. Like da da da. Uh huh. And uh, go on stage. Uh, I luckily. A minute into my set, these three girls start talking. That's your wheelhouse. And I going just in on some women. Eviscerate them <laughs> to like get the whole crowd on my side. Everything's popping, and then I get back into my act, and I have a like a really good set. Yeah, fucking awesome set. Ugh, I hate to hear I that. Is that really the story? Even though more, so here's what happened. Morton before he was like. He was like, yeah, I know. Said he's like, I know. I said it was gonna be a good spot, but honestly, that is like the hardest spot of the show. But you did great. Wow. So I was like, oh, so that's actually yeah, a good feeling to do yeah. well in a bad spot. To, I'm telling you, dude, to 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 run that far and be wrong, like I looked so stupid. I mean, you were completely wrong. You just I, mean, I was you, wrong. Brian Morton runs a club. He's not gonna mess up the time. Of your I know. Spot. <laughs> I just I just you, I got in my head. I was like. He said in I, the text, you're going after Roast Battle. Yeah, I know. At 11.40. Check when Roast Battle started. What's if up? you would have checked when Roast Battle started, it would have been very clear. It I was, know. <laughs> I fucked I really I wish I would have seen you running down the street. I was. I bet kids were taking TikToks of you. Like, this. look at this like, gentle giant like, running down the this street. Who's this crazy person? Chet Holmgren. It's Dude, Chet Holmgren. It, it, was, uh, it was like the most like panicked I've been in. <laughs> months I, yeah yeah i know those are terrible moments yeah. and then to and then to have to go on stage and like just be like yeah but you had an hour to calm down that's not i so did bad. and that was that's good like, what'd but you was... say to the poor women these poor hecklers what'd you get them with 
You get I, I, well, I well, wouldn't she, even fuck well, you. She, Is that what you do? Cause she, What's uh, cause she, cause they were, they were talking during the set and I said, I said, what'd you say? And she said, you look like you would, it was something about like some setup about like, probably like getting like dumped or something like that oh she said yeah. you look like you yeah. would get dumped oh yeah or something Let's like that go. And I just, if like, you are that woman find me i want to hear your story that's a I just, great uh, thing to do i fucking eviscerated this poor girl i'm sure you did and it was really great it it's felt good awesome. to let out the hate for women we all have <laughs> she was beautiful uh-huh she was. i bet she would have talked to you afterwards they did yeah i know but when I make fun of women, they don't come near me. But you have this soft spirit they love. Uh, yeah. And I'm cute, not hot, as I said earlier. You are. Um, cute guys can't be mean. Hot guys can. I can't believe you call yourself cute. What else am I going to call myself? Ugly? <laughs> I, I've said it. I got to pick I've a said word. It once. I've I got to be it. kind to myself. I think. What uh, would I say? I'm. Oh, you're. Uh, passable. A, oh, that'll really get me going in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> that don't really get me out you of wait, bed in the morning. You wake up. Like, wait, right, another Jeff. day to be passable. Another day to be a passable five. Another that no day one where, where my where my words will win them over. <laughs> another day where my personality has to shine. Yeah, your personality does. Or Jeff, you can work on some things. I'm working out. I you I I bet I I bet the, the body the body's okay. I bet in the gym it would be a little close between us. I bet it would be closer than in about a month. I bet. Maybe. What could you bench? Not anymore. My max in college was 290. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, but that's that's the past. I'm the done. past is the past. That was probably eight years ago. The Italians used to rule the entire Mediterranean Sea. They don't anymore. It doesn't yeah, count now anymore. Now they rule Philly. <laughs> now they rule Philly and hate me. <laughs> and they, they hate, hate you. Me. 290? Dude, that's a real downgrade for the Italians, man. They don't like a German. They went for, from half the world to Philly. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. They don't even rule Italy anymore. They just <laughs> rule Philly and that little... Little Italy in New York, very little. The ver they get like a block or two. They've got no claim in Chicago, really. Um, what are you talking about? The deep dish pizza, Lou Malnati's, Giordano's. Lou you Lou think Malna they're Polish? Lou is like a white. It's like it's like a Chicago. Lou American. Malnati. That's an Italian name. Giordano. Come on. Chicago. It's, it's all, Polish. At, at, at tw in twenty twenty two, the north side of Chicago is just white. You're not ethnically anything um, you're not there's no nobody has a real like pride in being anything uh anymore. ukrainian village would beg to differ ukrainian village is now as gentrified as they have Square. they have flags everywhere for ukraine i think there were a lot of ukrainian people that lived jeff, there jeff i think that's true you've been in new york too long <laughs> i they're, lived in they're, chicago they're, for five years they're opening up like blueberry scone shops in, <laughs> yeah in I've, ukrainian village yeah now. i'm sure it's falling apart a little bit but there's ukrainians there um, and they are ugly. That is another group of people that I can't stand. That oh Can I say my something? God. So so Serbian folk, we suck. Croatians are hot. Slovenians are gross. Okay. I don't know. Albanians are gross. Okay. Are you just gonna go down the European docket right now? I I, I really think I've only got What a, does this have to do with Ukrainians? You didn't even get to them. The East Eastern European people are all gross. That's not true. Polish people rock. Russian have you seen the Have rock. you seen the noses on Polacks? Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> that might be the worst thing anyone said on the pod so is far. That, is Pol is Polak that bad? No, it's not that bad, but just a, putting it with the nose too. That's a double whammy for the the Polish people have been through a lot. They probably had the hardest century of any white people, and they had a good they had a and they had to be taken down by you like that. Fonz, let me get let me get a focus here. <laughs> hey hey Polish folk. On this podcast, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. I, yeah, sure. I called you guys ugly, which I technically can't take back. <laughs> and you don't really take back. And I don't really take it back. Uh -huh. But I'm very sorry about the Polak thing. He shouldn't have said that. He should have just called you ugly, not thrown in a slur. That was fucked up. If you guys are offended, listen, I'm from Chicago. I know I get a little bit of a pass. But if you guys are <laughs> pissed off about that, write in. I'll apologize again. I'll do a cameo apology for 10 bucks. Wow. <laughs> and the money will go to a Polish diaspora foundation. Yeah, I'll go to a yeah. Polish uh, diocese or whatever you just said. <laughs> Different word, but whatever. Yeah. yeah. You're right. from literally the most Polish city in the world. I get one Polak a year. <laughs> you just use two. I, all right. <laughs> I'm sorry. He used up for next year, all right. But Chicago has more Polish speakers than any city in Poland. 
There's no city in Poland it. that has more Polish speakers than I believe Chicago. it. I got a bunch of Polish friends. Yeah, they got Polish my back. people are. They're good. They're no Germans, but they're good. And, they're, and their noses are unfortunate. I don't see. I don't know what you're talking about. They're beautiful. Polish women are hot. I think it's fucked up. And Polish women, if you're ever thinking. <laughs> if you ever want a shot at Asmus. ever want a shot at the crown, <laughs> come to the king. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. And Ukrainians, too. They're going through a lot. You really like downtrodden. You hate oh, downtrodden Oh, yeah. I forgot about people. that whole situation. The whole main thing happening in the world still. Biggest, probably fourth biggest storyline of the year behind the Griner thing. <laughs> so what? Okay. What are the three stories you think are bigger than Russia invading Ukraine? Federer retiring. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. What else? And Doncic making that step, his next step as a an NBA great. <laughs> it hasn't even happened yet, but it's gonna be greater. He's not an is he? He didn't even make it to the finals yet. Us finding out that COVID was a hoax. Oh <laughs> my in, god! In, in, in November, when Drago we'll found out. out the booster gave him myocarditis. Yeah. We can't go back to that again. We're not going that, back. That We're, was a dark era. In of this the pod, pod, we learn and we move forward. Yeah, but you still aren't gonna ever get a booster. Again. Against. Jeff so learns learn. that he's passable. That sucked when hear. he when he really dresses up and does his hair and eats right for a couple weeks. We learn that I Jeff's do passable. need to eat right. I don't eat good. And the moles ain't going anywhere. So that's gonna we're gonna need to fix that. Oh, see, a lot of people they get celebrated for these little bodily scars <laughs> they have. There's no one being like, oh, beautiful yeah. moles on your <laughs> we face. Need, we need you in a dove commercial. Yeah, why don't ASAP, I get a little thing dude. for this? These fucking things yeah. right here. Hey Dove. Look at this guy. It's not always like it's always like someone whose lip is gone. Why not a little minor blemish? They never get a Ad for me. This guy no representation. No representation for in the slightly the, dimpled community. You've got. Uh, I got two here, one there, and I got a big one on my ass. But we're not going to show. He's got that a couple here. moon bases I, on his face. I do have a massive birthmark on my my butt. I don't know if those are those are, those are technically moles or those like. What else mark? would they be? I don't know. Angel kisses? Yeah, they're moles. <laughs> I don't know. Do that. They look, Isn't that what your parents call them? Like, angel kisses? Maybe like my No. Really? <laughs> Serbians believe in angels, don't you? Yeah, but if I had something that like, brutal on my face, my it's mom more would like not call it. like the devil's bite. My mom would be like, don't, we got to get those fuckers removed. <laughs> they're not that big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a Serbian that. mom would be like, I can't have this in my house. You're not going to. Yeah, you can't make the NBA with it. You don't have ugly people in the NBA. No. Are there ugly NBA players? Oh, yeah, buddy. Who's ugly? Off the top of my head. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a Serbian ugly dude, uh, Boy Bojan or uh, Bo Boban, Marjanovic. Oh, well, seven three. Jokic is pretty ugly too. Jokic is Jokic brutal. is not good looking. Again, just... Doncic is good looking. He's hot. If he lost a couple pounds, he'd be cute. But I like how pudgy he is, and he still dominates, dude. Is he your favorite player? Probably, yeah. Huh? Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> But he's Eastern. Yeah. He's Balkan. One of the few white stars. I think he's got like. I bet he's like twenty percent Serbian. Oh, is he Slovenian? Yeah. Uh, are they? What's your deal with? I Slovenian? think his like mom's like half Serbian or something. Oh, okay. Like legitimate. Why I, is that the only pocket of like white Europeans who can play basketball? Like Serbia, Croatia, them. No one um, from France or England or is good at basketball. No Russians are good. There's not it's a. Just that there's small a. Pocket. There is a. A lot of tall dudes from that area. Yeah, I don't know why. What is going so on? So we we just have more chances of being lot like the genetics. Yeah. Yeah. So like, there's yeah. like how many? Like, uh, yeah, I, I don't even know. Like, uh, also like Italy. If you're good at something, you probably want it. They like want to be good at soccer. Oh yeah. yeah. Where Yugoslavian dudes now, especially now, they want to be good at basketball. Wow, you should go there. I bet they know you. They're like, oh, Dragovic. I could have played for the under twenty team. Really? You could have played for the Serbian national team? Oh, did team? I not tell this story? Oh, no. So, yeah, I got, um, I was offered to play for the Serbian under-20 team when I was going into my sophomore year of college. Dang. They said, we'll give you, uh, they said it takes like six months usually to get citizenship, but we'll get it to you like next week if you want to come out. Why did you say no? Uh, I talked with my coach, Coach Bray at Notre Dame, and wow. he was like, he's like, yeah, whatever you want to do, that's cool with me. Ultimately... Being in uh being uh, in South Bend over the summer was were really fun. <laughs> Dude. You chose a summer in South Bend, Indiana over a season of playing basketball with the Serbian national all team. All the athletes were on campus. The we, blondes are not that hot in South Bend. Well, here's the I've thing. All there. the athletes were on campus and we'd party at the hockey house <laughs> oh on Fridays and Saturdays. 
Our our lifts were done. We had six a.m. lifts. We were all done at like eight thirty. Everyone would immediately start drinking at the pool by at like eight thirty a.m. Yeah, so everyone would go straight to this place called uh, Turtle Beach or Turtle Creek Pool. Okay. And this like there's like this apartment complex where there's this pool, and like you'd literally see fifty athletes at like eleven a.m. With like just getting thirty, how do you getting get, hammered? Okay, but that's insane that you think that's more interesting than playing for a national basketball. Team. I I wanted to play college. Um, yeah, I'd rather be by a pool than well, travel here's, Europe. Here's what goes. I wanted to play college basketball for so long that like, and the summers. This was this was going to be like my first summer where I'm like comfortable on the team. Oh, would it only have been for one season? It would have been for Serbia? one. It would have been for one summer. Yeah, but I just was so like. Uh, the first summer going to your freshman year is so like uncomfortable and so like hard. Yeah, I was like, I finally felt it is fun to let loose. I finally yeah. felt like comfortable on campus, comfortable like with I knew the athletes. Like you I could have been I a was, Serbian citizen though. That would rip. Serbia sucks. <laughs> Serbia sucks. I don't know why you hate it so much. It's so stupid. There's this internalized hatred. How many have you met, Jeff? Besides me, none. Right. Uh, not that I could tell. I can't. are you are you do you are, do you, do you, are you inclined I give you to a meet B. more? I give you a B, and I feel like you're one. I'm of one the of your war- best friends. You give me a B. Best B for best. <laughs> <laughs> B for best friend. No, but yeah, Come like on. I just I don't know. It was to me. I just like wanted to, you know. Huh. Be around the man. Team. I cannot wrap my head around that decision, but I that's I'm glad. You I want yeah, to honestly, party. if you have a take on this, uh, I would. I mean, I would. That'd be so cool to, to any of our listeners. Like, message us in. Yeah, do you I, think I, yeah. Drago should have been Duncan in Poland and Bulgaria, or were you weren't? Didn't you have a girlfriend that time in your life? In I college? did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't even fucking and slutting either. No, I just wanted to Dang, drink, dude, wow. and like hang out. <laughs> <laughs> that is such an alcoholic. I love that. <laughs> no, but it was also it amazing. was also like just fun to. No, I'm sure it was fun play right? on campus with the team and everything. It was yeah. just. Um, How are you able to get up for a 6 a.m. workout when you're boozing every single day? We weren't. Oh. Yeah, you didn't booze until Friday. Oh, it was. Just, oh, okay. I see, I see. But it was just like I don't know. It was just fun to hang out and be on campus. I understand and, uh, the fun of drinking. Of, I also yes. felt like I got better like with my teammates i thought like my my teammates at the time were amazing they were excellent players so it was like i wasn't like losing i wasn't losing out on a uh like a competition thing have you played with anyone who's in the nba in serbia was there anyone on the team who made it i don't know i mean dude honestly there might be a chance i played with Jokic. honestly really i think he's like 30 right yeah how old is Jokic? 30 20 or is he 26 oh you could have he's what in his late 20s if he's like 28 or 29 i might have played with him whoa well that would be a a thing to look up that whether you would have played with Jokic, that could have been crazy i wonder who else is good that's my age he is 27 27. i wouldn't have played with him. he would have been a little too young wow that's crazy (laughs) that's close the two-time mvp or the one-time mvp wow okay with two time oh fuck yeah he won two years in a row twice Oh, yeah. How do you feel about that? Oh, dude, that's bullshit. I think everyone in the league knows that. Embiid, Embiid is so sick. Yeah. He he should have won over Joe. I I think that um, Embiid. Like, I think Rivers is just not a great coach. I don't think he does a great we job with Doc them. Rivers. Dude, oh, yeah. I only know he used to play for the Spurs. <laughs> that's what I, I'll throw into that conversation. Sorry, didn't Doc Rivers play for the Spurs for a long time? Yeah, for like four years, maybe. Why is that? I don't know why know? I know that. I don't know anything about his coaching style. You don't know that he coached the his, Celtics to I a had championship? His basketball no card when I, I collected basketball cards as a kid. That's mm. how I know players. Okay. Well, let's switch gears here because okay. I don't need you talking about sports much uh, longer. <laughs> yeah, it's painful. Let's do this part. Aaron um, did tol- tell me to try to talk about things you like on the pod. So I was trying to talk about sports with my friend. Somebody but, messaged you know, me. I, don't I wanted know to shout out this it. guy. He said, uh, he said, our, he goes, this is actually. A, a lot but he said he said our last 10 episodes he really feels like we found a uh a, a groove we and found like a, really... a groove well it's slipping away right before our eyes in this episode i'm, yeah, I'm <laughs> just going. saying i appreciate that shout off now also to just didn't be like 10 exactly is yeah so fun. it's like the 32 it's, before that yeah, were a the, little uh, tough to get through that's, all, that's uh, it's yeah. 10 hours of uh yeah <laughs> 
Well, yeah, we it's the New York, okay. the New York group. We uh, for, we got a listener question that uh that was very interesting that I that I posed to all the other listeners uh-huh. where they could uh they could chime in here. What's the question? Biggest red flag you saw on a first date. We have different ideas of interesting questions, but I'll I'll take that. Here's some great here's some great answers from listeners. I'm gonna keep everybody anonymous, obviously. Uh-huh. I'll I'll list a couple of them. Uh, this one guy said uh, the girl's mom showed up to the date at the restaurant. They both ordered food and then left that's wild that's pretty I, insane right unless the mom was hot if maybe the mom, they were interested in yeah. the threesome and then you just failed the interview another that's one possible. uh I, uh i went back to his place after and i found an axe under his bed while he was in the bathroom well it would would it be better if it was a gun no oh <laughs> okay i thought maybe <laughs> i feel like axe is creepier gun you're like he's just a responsible citizen exercising his second amendment rights but an axe that's serial killer if i was shit. on a date and a girl had a gun in her room i would i would be like hey i, I can't this what? is what really me. yeah it's um, everyone has a gun what are you talking about and mo- uh, there's you're supposed to be the lib cuck i'm here. not saying that it's good or not i want a gun i've l- been looking into getting one actually it's actually harder than you think and they don't really <laughs> give them to beta little fucks they can't get i mean your little I can barely autism pull the should trigger. not be allowed to have no a gun, i don't think dude. i want a gun but i was looking into it but there are like three times as many guns as people in america a lot of people have guns yeah it's not happening i don't think i yeah i don't think i'm Okay. Hanging out with women who have guns. This guy told me we were going to a speakeasy, and it ended up being a burlesque show. It was a Tuesday, so we were one of only six people in the audience. He ordered <laughs> us absinthe shots off the bat. <laughs> Ooh. That is a cool dude. That's uh, the the burlesque absinthe shots are fucked, dude. That's a lot. I yeah, that's a lot. I don't think I bet that guy really loves like Rammstein. I bet he's a dark like German metal guy, like really brooding. That's I, who I think that guy is. Or he's a psychopath. Yeah, I'm not saying that's good. I was a burlesque that's show. A, yeah, I mean, burlesque is tough because like just saying it's a speaky. First off, he just he totally didn't. He did. He, he didn't, lied. Yeah. He didn't say that it was a burlesque. Well, he show. might not have known. Let's. I'm always on the man side. Uh, <laughs> he might not have known. But also, remember when we used to have to do comedy after burlesque shows? Oh yeah. The, there was at, a show at the Chicago. comedy bar where we had to do a, a set after burlesque. Like a legit striptease. Yeah, yeah. There was a woman who'd go on stage and move her bare ass to the beats of Beethoven's then, Fifth Symphony. And then Jeff's up there like, and I'm on, like, isn't it weird that I come early? And everyone's like, yeah, we yeah. came during her set, bitch. <laughs> It was terrible. We got this one. Uh, almost hits. Uh, he almost hit someone who was jaywalking and told me if he hit someone while driving, if he felt confidently enough that no one was around, he'd just keep driving because uh, <laughs> just getting out to check would just cause more problems than it was worth. <laughs> <laughs> this was on the way to dinner, so I had to just like have that in my head for two hours. Oh after. my god! Here's the thing, That's... guys. This is this is what made me think, guys. We don't like all we the our reviews of dates. Like if if I was like, hey, how was your date? Or t- to like any of my friends, usually it's like, oh, it was either good or bad. Like we don't talk about. Yeah, we don't go into the details. On the, we are like we are so we. Pro- there's probably so many nuanced things about us that like women notice when we're on the first date. Like what, that like that like need to change immediately. Yeah, I'm sure there are, and I don't think they probably see any cons in me, but they definitely see a few in you. I mean, your I your mean, the way you're wearing your shirts. I wouldn't shirts wear this to a date unless I was trying to be a little. F- a little flirty, you know? <laughs> Soy boy, come on, let her know who she's dealing with. That's your freak flag What do you fly. think your red flag? My biggest red flag, no drinking on a date. If they don't want to drink on the first date, nah. Then you're saying that it's then it's out? I don't care if drinking ruined your family. I don't care if your every relative died in a three-car pileup. You drink on the first date. Really? I don't care if you're sober. You drink on the first date. It's impossible. I said what this, are you going to do? I said this earlier on my Instagram. A couple times girls have done this where they literally, it's 20 minutes into the date and they'll be like, let's get shots. Let's do shots. That rocks. And it's like, That's no. cool. To me, that's- How is that not cool? Because it, it's so, it's kind of invasive and it's kind of like- You can say no. Yeah, but it's just a little bit, it's something where you're like- They're trying it's, to it's have fun. Like, it's not like a read the room thing, but it is, it is a read. It's like, this is way too early to be saying that. I, I if it's don't. towards the end and you're like, if 20 I'm like, minutes hey. is a little early, but after like two drinks, you want to have a shot. That's kind of, that's cool. I think if you go to the next bar and have shots, 
Oh, okay. I'm the not date, moving. If the date moves on, you don't do that? Well, no, hey, let's I, go I, else. I sit at the same bar and rack up a tab. I think that's always kind of a, a nice move to be like, hey, like get a little stiff. Like Let's go somewhere else. Like, let's yeah, go that's a good spot. move, but I'm not I like a good that, date. Because I like to walk around. Fonz, yeah. Fonz, am I right? See, yeah, you're right. You've clearly, you've, you've been on, Fonz has been on dates yeah, too. Yeah, I'm not the guy to go to. You're not this. the guy. No, I'm not the guy. Your red flag is that you're you. I pick <laughs> the diviest dive bar where I know they have a drink special that night, and then I get <laughs> drunk. And you the, just happen the, to be there. The, the girl says, "Do you want to do shots?" And you go, "Yeah, there's a nice beer shot combo for seven dollars." <laughs> of course, I'm getting the beer shot combo. What are you talking about? God. The economy is in a recession right now. Of course, I'm getting the beer shot combo. God, how, how you've Here's ever found I, love is really beyond. If me. I get drunk on a date, it means I had a great time and you're awesome. If I black out, it means you sucked. <laughs> okay, that's the differences on a date. So you really haven't said you're a real red flag. It's not drinking. I could not doing any. Thing. What is how about what's your red flag? What do you do? What do I do? I probably <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> um, well, they wouldn't know that at first, but at one time I got in huge trouble with my ex girlfriend when I she found out that I used it's kind of a psychotic thing I did. I told one of my jokes that I say on stage in person. And she, I, I didn't, I was really oh. bad. It was, the, it was one of the lowest moments of my life when I realized oh. what happened. Did she say like, hey. She, she, a couple dates later, she's like, yeah, you said one of your jokes. Cause she like watched a couple clips before the date. You so dropped, she didn't say anything. You did material? The, I, it was just like a throwaway line. It wasn't like a whole story, but it was like a, a line or two. Oh, It was man. actually, I think it was during sex. I when we hooked up for the first time after after no. it was after sex no not during sex it was like uh, afterwards so it was just like in bed it was just like yeah <laughs> do the joke you have to do the joke she was like oh you came kind of quick and then I was like yeah so we can get back to talking about your day <laughs> I was doing it a little tongue in cheek. I was doing. I was a little tongue in cheek, but it was. It a, is a good response. It's a good line, but you know, it was a uh, tough to hear. She'd already heard it before. Not great. He or she? She had already heard it before. Oh, they said he or she. Yeah, I, he, I was like, geez, they bad. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, okay, nothing here we. That. I agree. There's nothing wrong with that. One uh, this, more, this and one then is, I gotta do my question. This one is wild. What's dude. your red flag? What's let's hear from Alex Dragovich. The king of dates. I mean, you've gone, you've gone dates more than any Serbian guy I know. I'm a little bit of a dog sometimes, folks. Yeah. It? Uh, my red flag is. I can be a little bit blunt. I sometimes I don't. I won't like say things. You're just oh, like oh oh uh, oh. Dress is the wrong color. One one thing I I I can I can find some I can find some more for sure. But one thing that I find that I will be actually pissed off. If you're late for the date, I like will. You get ten minutes. You I get will 10 be minutes. very mad, you, and I, I won't. And I won't be able to hide it. I agree with that. More than fifteen minutes late is unacceptable. If you're if you're more than ten minutes late, I will give you a very hard time, and I and probably I'm, and it'll, that's probably and my red flag is I won't be able to. I mean, a lot, of my a lot of my friends know this about me is like, yeah, if something gets under my skin, it <laughs> takes me like an hour or two to shake it off. So yeah. Like, like saying Dago last week was under your skin. <laughs> it was under my skin week. for like a while, <laughs> yeah. dude. And then, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah if you sense. if you're late, I will I'll hold it against you inside for a long time I for agree the whole with probably that. the whole day. And I think that, but I think that, and I think that's bad. I think that's probably a red flag of mine. My well, I I thought my red flag if they're really into like reality TV. Oh, for them, yeah. If they're like really into the Bachelor, like actually into it, I'm like nah. Really? It's just, it's kind of embarrassing to like actually take that. Some people are like, I watched the bachelor pod. I watched the recap of the bachelor. It's like, or astrology. No, actually that's it. Astrology done. Really? If you believe in astrology, I have no interest in, I can't stand that. You don't think you I don't have find, some, some quirks that, I have might, that quirks. girls, girls I have a lot of quirks. Over. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. I come into a pillow. Yeah, <laughs> I got a few quirks up my sleeve. All right, last yeah. one. This one's actually wild. Okay, the last um, one. She, she said, uh, OMG, he never showed up to the restaurant and then texted me after I left saying that he had been watching me the whole time Whoa. to waiting to see my reaction. What? To yeah. see if she like threw a fit or something? To yeah. see if she stayed? So he. So she said... Yeah, so basically, yeah. Oh. So she waits for 20 minutes. 
or whatever. Yeah. He doesn't show up. Wow. He, she leaves and she's like, where were you? He's like, oh, I was watching you. Jeez, that's some like Jordan Peterson sting job type thing. Like, look how this weak woman couldn't handle herself alone. It's, that's so men. We got to do better, folks. Yeah, that's there's gross. some other things we got to do better on. But that one in particular, that, whoever, if you if you know who that guy was, we'll beat him up. Yeah, I'll do it personally. Yeah, yeah well, Drago we'll, could bench 290 in 2012. So I know, dude. You're gonna take. I'm so him embarrassed down. where my where my where my bench might be at. I don't even want to. I I I couldn't beat you, but I bet I could in a couple months. Okay. <laughs> Under 20 right now. 120. Right. Not great, but we're getting there. This is the question of the week, Drago. We're gonna close on this. The little cultural question of the week: Are you smarter than a Dragovich? This is a little question. Everyone's you know the Queen Elizabeth died. Yeah. You know? Queen, everyone's talking about the queen, who the new king is, all that. Here's my question. Alex Dragovich, who killed Princess Diana? Oh, con- it wasn't the conspiracy that the queen did? Uh, why? Was she? So she died in a car accident. Yeah, she died in a car accident in Paris. Yes. And people think that the, that the queen uh, or like someone high up had ordered her to die because she was in line to be like what she, was she in line to be the i think she might have been first in line to she be if been she first, would have yeah and they were like we don't want someone kind of she doesn't she didn't represent the values of what they were kind of going for so oh, they just offed her right yeah well some people said they say if it's because she was dating a muslim man and they didn't want a non-white guy to be in the royal royal family Oh, they thought that was gonna last. Yeah, she that's the guy she died with in the car. There was rumors they were gonna get married, and so they think I don't actually think it's true, but people say that they made this car hit the car and die. Holy shit. Yeah, so she wouldn't marry. Yeah, this yeah. I I knew guy. that 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 was the you know. Yeah, you know. You know, guys, if you stray off the path, you never know what's gonna happen. <laughs> what is that? What does that mean? What advice is that? I don't know. Don't think for yourself and be normal and boring sometimes your parents are right folks <laughs> oh my god <laughs> jesus christ okay. i'm kidding and then another question about queen elizabeth queen elizabeth the late great queen elizabeth alex dragovich smash her pass queen elizabeth uh pass he, in younger she was cute I go Princess Di though. Believe that. Oh, how brave of you! Believe that. One of the most beautiful women of the last hundred years. I'd have sex with her. She's fucking. I think Julia <laughs> Roberts is hot. Good for you. Julia, Ro- I'd go die over Roberts any day, actually. Okay, okay. Princess Die. Okay. Would you go J- Julia Roberts or uh, oh, God. or Meg Ryan? I don't really know who Meg Ryan is. You suck. She's in Sleepless in Seattle, this. right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Julia Roberts is hotter. Yeah. Are you crazy? I don't. Yeah. No, that's what I think. Meg Ryan's a blonde, right? Mm-hmm. I just, I just, yeah. Julia. Yeah. Sorry. 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 I don't really know who Meg Ryan is that much. Peak Courtney Cox or peak Jennifer Aniston? Oh, Courtney Cox. Yeah. Yeah. That is the right answer. Phoebe the dark horse, though. Phoebe is a dog, bro. <laughs> oh, come on. Phoebe Give Lisa, sucks. Lisa Kudrow a break. Le- uh, you can't I mean, call her a dog. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Come on. A lot of on. people were mad about your Bushwick opinions. Oh, that. A lot of people were like, okay. <laughs> He's got to rein it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going a little too far against the Bushwick neighborhood. Yeah, you know, that's just, I don't know, man. It's, it's This is a hot kitchen, okay? <laughs> you're going to get burned. Is, the pot is a hot you kitchen, You come in the folks. kitchen, you're going to get we burned. We are cooking in here. <laughs> and it's if not you can't always take for the adults. Heat, it's not, yeah. If you can't take the heat, get out. Yeah. <laughs> 18 or above only. If you're offended. <laughs> <laughs> If you're offended, God, you're gonna be the new like by the shit we say, edge lord, but only against Bushwick. <laughs> you're progressive in every other thing, but <laughs> fuck Bushwick women. Yeah, they suck. Yeah, I've got no, I've got no opinions on politics, but god damn it, you know what? You're gonna tell me what to. Sorry, what? You know what today is? And my girlfriend pointed this out. It's National Voter Registration Day, Drago. Aaron, it, come on, dog. And shouldn't that be what you're doing tonight? Listen, dude, I already think that there's 51 states. Can I just like that is sit true. this one That is true. You out? shouldn't be allowed to vote. Right? I don't need to vote. There should be a quiz every time you vote. I thought Puerto get... Rico was a state and, uh, you know, because I, I didn't have to take a, uh, a passport over there. But that's because it's part of the country. It's not a state. 
How do you these are know these are the this? tomato tomato things. I, I don't just need to... I just we live different lives. We just thank God. Yeah. Thank live... God. And that's, you guys, yes, you can be friends with people that think there are fifty one states. Um, I you better not, you know now that it's not true, right? Yeah. You admit you're <laughs> yes. wrong. You're not still clinging to the belief, are you? I mean, I want there to be. I want Puerto Rico <laughs> in, dude. That's I want your in. conspiracy theory. There's actually 51 states. I'm, no, I'm fighting for Puerto Rico to be. I, a you should be. State. They should be a state. I think they it's deserve to be as much as not. anyone. Yeah. Okay. It sounds like it's plug time. It's about that time, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Where Drago asks me, "What week are we doing the plugs for?" And I explain to him that it's next week, Drago. Yeah, next what, weekend. Okay, first weekend of October, last weekend of September. Sweet. What do you got? Um, I'll be at Halliard's Bar next Friday. Bitches Brew. <laughs> Good show. Good show. Not a bad show. Next weekend, I got I got nothing, so I'm just gonna be in New York. So I hate to have, be one upped by Drago, but here we are. Mm -hmm. Here we are. We're going to be starting a Patreon soon, Drago. Is that true? We need to. Can we... someone send us money? <laughs> well, no, we're going to we're going to make a real Patreon in a couple no, weeks. No, we're going to do it. We're going to put out extra content, <laughs> extra episodes. We're going to put on the soads for the pe for it's not for the easily offended. Yeah, <laughs> these are where we go after Croatians. We say think about the Ukrainian people. If you thought this you... episode was bad. <laughs> you thought Dago was bad. Yeah, Wait till dude. you hear the slur we have for Ukrainians. Yeah, only on the Patreon. <laughs> Swamp rats, yeah. that's what we call them. What do you call Croatian people? Do you know any like Balkan uh, slurs? Oh, uh, I don't know. You could ask your parents. Wet beefs. <laughs> What is that real? No. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. What I was just thinking, fucking... like you know, Italian beef, beef wet beefs. Okay, beef. interesting. Okay, well, that's the note we're gonna have to end it on. Alex inventing a new racial slur. This has been episode forty-three. Yeah, episode forty-three. If you're an idiot, forty-three episodes, n-word free. Only fifty-seven more till the big party. Good night and good luck, America. Bye. See you, Dagos. <laughs>